very good morning om shanti to all of you listeners welcome back to your channel and today we are going to talk on the 3 and second day of a godly blessing what is baba have to say in today's godly blessing and how he wants us to face all the situations in our life with the mantra of man man above that means make your mind understand that you are a soul and remember god supreme god father who is also a soul he is a divine point of light you are also a point of light that is what is the meaning of man man above remember yourself as a soul be soul conscious so let's see what is baba have to say here <coughs> baba says may you use the mantra to remembrance of remembrance sorry to achieve imperishable success in your thoughts and actions first in our thoughts and then it automatically comes or trickles down into our actions and become an embodiment of success what does that mean baba says you children are messengers of the almighty government So, like, there's a government over here also in India and other countries, and their messengers who travel to different countries, their finance ministers, their other ministers who travel to different countries and take the message of the country back over there for differences, for changes, for advancement, for the future. So, we are also messengers of Almighty Government. And what is the message that Kaliyug or this Iron Age was going to come to an end very soon, and the new world is coming. So, get prepared, make your mind, make the soul purified. and move towards spirituality <clears throat> so that is the message so baba says therefore do not allow your mind to be disturbed while discussing anything with anyone this is new knowledge for the new age old knowledge for the old age which we have been listening to we have been taking with its physical knowledge worldly knowledge mathematics physics biology or whether it is religious knowledge <clears throat> with that knowledge over a period of time we have ended up coming from copper age into iron age so we have come down instead of going up in consciousness do you recognize that do you realize that so our consciousness has gone down that means it's become more dirtier god says now from religion you have been calling out for me you have been asking out for me you have been wanting me to come down and help you out and see the light so i come down and i have for your religious practices which you have done you have called out to me you have done so much of religious practices you have done so much of worship that i come down to give you your fruit of worship and that is what is it it is spiritual knowledge which opens your mind opens your third eye and transforms you from a hellish being to a godly being or to a divine being so anybody having lustful thoughts anger greed ego attachment is devilish person or satan or shaitan or ravanic person but god says i transform you from that impure human being to a pure human being with the new knowledge for the new age for the new world and god says that's why that when you're discussing this knowledge with anyone do not get disturbed because people have the old notions of the old world and the old thinking and the old thoughts so obviously it will take time for them to recognize and realize this new knowledge of the new world and every time whenever something new has come people have revolted first or they've gone against it or they've they've actually ignored it also God says, so do not get disturbed while discussing anything with anyone. Use the mantra of remembrance. That time, be in constant connection with God the Father. You don't get shaken up. So, when you are in meditation with God the Father, you won't be bickering around. You won't be discussing. You won't be uh, getting annoyed or uh, getting disturbed by that discussion. Maybe they don't agree to the things which you have said for the new knowledge for the new world. So, God then says, use the mantra of remembrance when someone is not able to. be controlled by words when you guiding them so that they also transform themselves and they take the right path of spirituality and they get connected to god the father and think of him as a soul as a spark as a light as an energy and stop looking for god on this earth stop looking for god in the idols stop looking for god in people that's why there are so many followers of so many babas and so many religious uh, saints and all that we have forgotten him and we are after those people so god says they cannot give you liberation i'll give you liberation so god says that when you share these things with others and you try to tell them that transform yourself change your direction of thinking so if they cannot be controlled by words or other methods then what is baba said they use magical mantras or the magical mantras you meditate for them you have good wishes for them you get connected to god yourself and baba says you have the eyes of soul conscious vision you have the eyes of soul conscious yes. vision so you have the eyes you have the eyes of baba says soul conscious vision you have the eyes of soul conscious vision 
that means we cannot hate them if they don't listen to us we cannot show them anger with the eyes if they don't listen to us we cannot get into discussion or have a verbal uh, fight with anybody if they don't listen to our words so god says you have the eyes of soul conscious vision of mercy vision not ego in which you are like oh you are such a fool that you don't understand what i'm trying to say and uh, this knowledge is not you're not worthy of this knowledge no, no no that kind of thinking is not for a spiritual being not for a pure being so god says you have the eyes of soul conscious vision and the mantra of man mana bhav we have discussed what is man mana bhav it means remembering god by thinking of him as a point of light and we ourselves we are our souls also point of light with which you can make your thoughts practical unshakable and become an embodiment of success so what do people look for people are not looking for knowledge people are looking for stability people are looking for strength in people because there's so much of knowledge so much of text so much of religious text which is available for free on the google you can just go and read any any scripture and try to understand it on your own and you won't understand anything but people are looking for peaceful people who have attained peace who have attained love who have attained happiness and not somebody who can give you jargons of big big words and big big uh, uh, or, or very complicated knowledge god wants everybody to be simple because god is simple and he wants this knowledge to be simplified and to be understood easily so that you can attain peace easily and you can be in love and happiness with yourself and god easily so that is what is god's mission and i hope you understood what exactly does this mean but how to get the stability how to be so strong and how to do not get disturbed when people don't listen to you provided you are talking the truth do you don't have your own personal motive in it then you can come and understand how to do that at brahma kumari's godly spiritual university and be at peace have a blessed day om shanti